You must say all praises and honor to you how but I show me how shy but I show me how I could dash Double honors to the pastors and elders of Griffin Stone Shalom to all our brothers and here push this show in our sincerity Right now, all honesty This is a brother from James Jamaica Camp um, Yashamai yes, I know I know I'm a listen You know, I'm um, famine You know, because You know, Father You know, I got um, destroy You know, a lot of people you know, In the time to come It's famine, I can't uh, Account the Bible prophecy, right? Can we go to the brother? Um, Second Ezra 16 and verse, the verse 22. This is Second Ezra 16, verse 22. One it says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Because according to the scripture, so say, oh, many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. So a lot of people are going to die by famine. A lot of people, you know, I was seeing, you know, the whole food shortage, you know, from last year, you know, when they said this whole um, Corona um, C19 thing start, you know, it's locked down. You have a lot of food that waste, you know, come up to this time, you know, you know, you have UN say, you know, this year, 2021, you're going to have a famine of, you know, a biblical proportion. Right? And you all go back to Bible prophecy, right? And according to the scripture, people say, well, many of them, that dwell upon the earth shall what? Shall perish a famine. So a lot of people are gonna die by the way of hunger. Right? Go on. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the other that uh, escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So all who are dead by famine, all who are dead by what? The sword. By the pestilence. You know? The weapon, the machine, the knife, the gun. You name it. Right? Out here in Jamaica now we have um, our leaders out here, you know. Um, so them, them them get the good. They got the good thing for the so-called Jamaicans them, you know. Talking about the Maxine. You know, so you know soon, you know, according to them, by what? By the by the end of this end of February, they're supposed to, you know, rule it out. Certain people forget it first, and they get it. Right? What? Uh, this is an article from the Guardian. It's a um, C19. Uh, so like it's a risk of global food shortage due to the C, the big C has increased, says UN in Boy. It's a people living in poverty around the world are in danger of food shortage as the C, C virus crisis continues. And last year we have um, they said they have out in Jamaica they said they have um, a shortage of chicken. You know, and you know, see go on and you see a lot of people um, out in Jamaica last year. Um, for the whole soul, especially one of the woman and the one of basically, you know, playing the, the, the mother role and the father role, you know, have just a little bit, you know, a little bit of basically um, food and money basically sustain themselves going back last year. You know, and things don't go back to normal. Things keep on getting worse. Right? Because a lot of people last year that look for basically 2020 basically done so things can go back to normal. But we still in you know, this whole you know um crisis here. Right? You see where the um, food prices increase last and year as well. Eh? See, um, uh, the UN the UN's food envoy has warned with the risk worse this year than the period shortly after the pandemic began. Can't. So the risk this year serious? Can't. Can't. Um, it say again Agonies Calibat, the special special envoy to the UN Secretary General for the Food System Summit 2021 said food systems have contracted because of the C19 and food has become more expensive and in some places all right so so I say food become more expensive now I have a lot of people lose them job you know from last year and now things getting expensive even the light bill you know the light bill keep on climbing you know the month light bill getting higher and higher and a lot of people don't have a job. The thing getting worse and worse. Right? 
This is Second Kings 6 verse 25. What? And there was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged it until an arse head was sold for a poor score piece of silver. Go on, so tell me what arse head was sold for poor pieces of silver. Talking about donkey head. Go on. Um, and the fourth part of a cab of dove's dung for five pieces of silver. All right. And the king, and as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help me, um, Lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, whence will I help thee? Come, so this is what happened back then. You know, going back to, to um, ancient time. Right, say so king said, If the Lord do not help thee, Hey, why, why should he help you? Right? Go on. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, when when shall I help thee? Son. Out of the barn, barn, barn floor, floor or out of the wine press? Right? Yeah, because the story of them empty in, in that family. So, um, and the king said unto her, What? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Say, what I like thee? Son. And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him son. today, and we will eat thy son tomorrow. Son. So we boiled my son and did eat son. him. So this is what back then. The boy, um, the woman, them, they, they plan to basically, you know, cook, cook them son. Right? One basically plan to cook it. They say, they cook them son, you know, today. And next one plan to cook him son the other day. And so people back then eat them son. Woman back then is a woman back then, you know. You know? And them and them one and them one yes say yo famine is gonna come of biblical biblical persuasion. Yeah. Can people been warned? That's right. what I said, that's what I mentioned. Right? So this is what happened back then. Woman boil them son. And according to the scripture, this famine is gonna be worse than every famine, you know. We have basically take place here on the planet. This one we are approaching right now is going to be the greatest. Right? Go on, brother. It's a, um, and it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman that he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall. Go and on. the people looked and behold, he had sackcloth within upon his flesh. Go on. Right? Um, it say, back in the article, it say, and food has become more expensive and in some places out of reach for people. Done. Food is looking more challenging this year than last year. Done. So a lot of people, as they mentioned earlier, and last year, that's them you know, 2020 or up and gone. Well, this is what <laughs> MCA take, take place this year. Yeah, this is where they are here. They say, um, Many of the people that expert, many of the problem that experts predicted last year have been deferred, not solved. She said the main impact has been on markets, the shutdown of food markets, the lockdown has closed markets, and that make it very difficult for farmers. Well, you have um, out in Jamaica, um, you have the whole every rain in the fall. I think the last year, uh, in, in the last year, you know, mash up the whole um, crops, the whole farming um, out in Jamaica. And so certain certain things, you know, I forget now. You have you have certain things, certain um, crops we are selling now expensive because we really mash up the whole farming thing. So you know, very very few things they can really get now. And if, um, other countries such as Thailand were also seeing price rise. She added the price of food is increasing in some cases very fast, Gun. which is um, really challenging. Gun. And food price keep on rising and our pay now rise. Right? Gun. So things as I mentioned, things getting worse and worse. You know, people still I look for things get better and better and things getting worse and worse. Alright, price of food increased in some cases very fast which is really challenging as the C19 pandemic and the global economic crisis it has 
um, provoke, continue, more countries are likely to be drawn into difficulties. She said, we have not been able to strengthen our, our reserve, now they are under pressure. Second Ezra six. Second Ezra six hundred twenty-two. What? Say and suddenly shall the stone places appear and stone. Can you say suddenly shall the stone places appear and stone? As I mentioned, you know, out in Jamaica, um, last year, the whole rain, every rain that fall, you know, mash up the whole um, farming thing out in Jamaica. So you now we now have, you know, um. No, no wolf, uh, things are still, you know, for a, for a cheap price no more. You know, the you know, thing kind of go for a little, you know, skewers yeah. and little, little thing where you get these farmers that they must, you know, they must sell it for a certain price here. Yeah. Price them raise. Right? Price them rise. Right? Go on. Um, it's a. Here again? And suddenly shall the stone places appear and stone. She said, suddenly shall the stone places appear and stone. One. The full store houses shall suddenly be found empty. The full store houses, you know, these 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 um supermarkets, you know, all these factories, you know, where people, you know, um, depend upon, you know, forget certain things. That's so what the scripture said. Suddenly it will go found empty because we're approaching the time of famine. Right? Even so, as, it, as it say, you know, the reserves them are get empty. Yeah. And, and as soon as things start to get you know, real serious, you know, and food start to stop coming or, or the chucks them stop coming because you know out in Jamaica, you know, every three days you know you have chucks coming in from we stop the supermarket shelves them. So as soon as these chucks stop to come, stop come, look food at the supermarket. All these um, wholesale up. They might try to basically keep it for themselves or their family. So we're going to have a looting. Over the years, you know, to the spirit and power, how about Shemir Shah, we've been speaking about, you know, the family that basically it's, it's a rock for them, how people love so much for them called Jamaica. You know, also, you know, it's a you know, Caribbean highland. Worldwide, really. You see what we've been speaking about out in Jamaica, because out in Jamaica, you know, we highly depend on our imported food. And last year, the rain mash up the whole farming thing. When you have the farming, from before, but last year the whole rain fall, it mash up the farming thing. Yeah. Right? Right? The, um, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear, they shall be suddenly afraid. Gone. At that time shall friends fight one and against another so like so, enemies. So when society starts to break down, it's how our situation going to take place. Yeah. Friends are going to fight against friends like enemy. Right? So say, a friend cannot be known in prosperity. Right? So when things get real serious, you know, and the food are there, you're going to say, oh, hey, man, you think of your friend, and never your, never your friend. Yeah. But scripture say, you have a Hashemir Shai say, um, my servant shall eat. So if you have a Hashemir Shai, going to feed him servant. Right? So we continue on this part, you know, we're going to basically get food for eat. Yeah. Scripture say, well, whatsoever thing was written, a four time was written for our learning. We see your past famine, you know. Um, you have about Shemir Shai, you know, feed, you know, the prophets them, even all people in the wilderness. Right. Okay. So, we know this time around, hey, you have about Shemir Shai, going to basically make a way so we can get food. Even a lot of these people have all these preppers, they have a lot of preppers. Hey, they, hey, they let them a prep, a prep basically, you like, right? Just like, for example, the movie there, you know, we always mention that movie, The Road, you know, the father and the son. You know, find that underground place, you know, with BF, B18 thing. Hey, how about Shimei Shai, you know, how all different way, they might basically feed us, you know, so if you have faith, you see, but a lot of people are going to die by famine, according to the scripture. Right? Remember that? Finish? Give me a sit there. Um, Zachariah, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 5 and uh, verse 16. Five and verse sixteen. This is Ezekiel. Five and verse sixteen. Verse sixteen. One. 
Um, when I shall when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine. Fans, that's how the scripture says. When you have a shimmer shall shall send upon them, you know, send upon our people. And also these hidden nations, the evil arrows of famine. We are approaching it the only time of famine right now. Right? One? Which shall be for their destruction. Which shall be for what? Their destruction. So they're gonna be for um destruction, you know, of the society. Destruction of a lot of people. One? And which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. Can. Exactly. So, so will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, Can. and pestilence and blood. And pestilence, diseases. You see, because you're gonna have deadly diseases, you know, you know, released at the time to come. Right? right? Because scripture mentioned about the pestilence. You go back to diseases. We are more worse than this whole, you know, C19 or big C. C or so. We are actually some people, you know, are dropped dead. Round you. Right? Go on, brother. And pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. Can. And I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Can. Give me um, Psalms 37 and verse 19. Psalms 37. Psalms 37 and verse 19. Verse 19. One. Well, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time. Go on, so the elect not gonna be ashamed in the evil time. Right? Go on. And in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. And you know what? The days of famine they shall be satisfied. So the elect gonna eat. Right? Give me um Job no brother, Job. Job 5 and verse 20. Job 5. Verse, verse 20. 20. What? It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, Can? and in war from the power of the sword. Can? Thou shalt be hide from the scourge of the tongue. Thou shalt be what? Hide be eat from what? the scourge of the tongue. What? Right. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Because how about Shema shall build us up now, I build up the hillock. You know, for all these things, you know, what to come. You know, I get us, you know, prepared for all these things to come, you know, because, you know, really and truly, the whole way, you know, we can endure all these things through the Heavenly Father because the level of chaos, you know, and things are going to take place, you know, amongst us, you know, you know, laws and we live in the entire we don't have about Shai, you know, you know, keeping you, you know, in that mindset that you lose it. You. So you have about Shai shall prepare us right now. See if I say though an outward man perish, yet the inward man, which is the spirit, renew day by day. So you have about Shai shall build us up, you know, for all these things to come. Right? Right? Majority of people but don't feel like though, you know. But in the time to come, not gonna be so you. Yeah. Right, go on. For those shall be no. At destruction and famine thou shall love, Can? neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Can. Exactly. Can. So give me one more scripture. Um, Isaiah 65 and verse 12. Close off in that one. Isaiah 65 and verse 12. Close off in that one. Verse 12. One. It says, Therefore will I. Therefore will I number you to the sword, Gun. and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. So ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. So our people gonna bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. That's so the reason why. When we on the highways and the byways, you know, you know, all our people over the years, you know, about all these things to come, you never take heed. Right? So it's people say, Heavenly Father, you how about Shemesh? I'm gonna number you to the sword, you know, to the to the famine. You know, to the the pestilence into you know, the, 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 the teeth of wild beasts, you know, the foes of heaven, all these things, right? Because when I called, he did not answer. Because when he called, he did not answer. He never take heed to the truth. Go on. When I speak, he did not hear. Go on. But did evil before mine eyes. Go to all the friend of wickedness in the society. So you're going to get judged, right? Go on. Um, even before my sight, and they choose that wherein I delighted not. Gone. Right. 
Continue. Dear, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Turn to pass it, behold, the Lord servant shall eat. And in Amos um, 3 and 7, he said, Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants and prophets. So the prophets going to get food to eat. Right? Um, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Can? Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Can? Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. But ye shall be ashamed. A lot of people are going to be ashamed in time to come, so they never take heed to the word of the Father. You're going to be too late for a lot of people. Yeah. So that means I say all praises and honor to you, Bashim, and Shai, Bashim, and Kakodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to all our brothers and all who are pushing through to us and serving in our honesty. Shalom.